me make signals Let's be honest, you want some dick in you Or you don't I don't know Now, Facts. Ray, I want I want to talk to you because you, you you brought up uh this forty percent drop. Yep. In hip hop. Mm hmm. Dropping what? Sales. Uh, sales. Um, attention. Especially attention, Jesus. After this Drake and Kendrick situation, Oof. what's the numbers looking like? Because hmm. I feel like you would know. I think Drake and Kendrick. I think that I think that rap is a rap is about to have a renaissance moment, a huge renaissance moment because we realize that we've allowed kids to control it. Right. <laughs> I'm being honest. Like we realize nah, we've allowed, when we start talking we about data about and this. he got 3 million likes on TikTok, we're not acknowledging that those are 12 and 13 year old kids right. who don't know better. So right, we right. chase those numbers and we've empowered them and we've empowered them because we've empowered them so much that we've allowed them to think that they're big homie now, we're little homies. Right, that's, that's, I see that happening. You see what I'm saying? So for me, it's like, we just gotta, we just gotta come in the, like, so for rap right now being the way it is, I think that Kendrick and Drake beef was probably the most significant moment in rap history. Mm -hmm. Not just the biggest beef, it was a significant moment. And the reason why is because my son is right there, he's 15. Nigga, when Drake, when Kendrick drops, when Drake drops, Back to back or uh, the 50 push-ups or the drop and give me 50 record. Lil Raymond is calling me. You heard Drake? M meanwhile, his mom called me too. Baby, you didn't listen? Oh, and then when Ke we was in Vegas at dinner, just eating that math show. It was great. And it was like, Kendrick dropped. Oh, yeah, right. so it's like, he dropped me. The right. And it was like, what is this? And then it was like, we get, we literally, we leave dinner to go to the hotel because we got to hear it. Right. <laughs> Think about that. We, oh, but why does it matter? Because the story matters. Right. The mm -hmm. data don't matter. The story oh, matters. Mm -hmm. And we was chasing data so much that we forgot how to tell stories. Wow. Hip hop has been built on the back of storytelling. I love this. Whether it's 560 State Street. Nigga, I ain't never been the best star, but I know I rely on best star to shut it down if I die. <laughs> Nigga, I ain't never been to Queens right. Bridge, but when I heard Mob Deep say what they said, I'm like, I know what it's like in Queens Bridge, right? right? right because right. it was about people, culture, moments. Now it's about data. They don't give a fuck who's listening. As long as yeah. it's making money, that's this. But guess what, guys? We lost our soul now. Mm. And now ain't nobody winning. And everybody's trying to figure out. Now we don't care about TikTok. We're trying to look for real talent. And nobody gives a fuck about the music industry. So we in big trouble. And the only thing I think saves that is realness. A real shit. That's why when I told you, I was like, yo, come to Atlanta. I'm telling you right now, camera, you got my word. Chaz, anybody know me know all I got is my word. Come to Atlanta. Let's make six songs together. I guarantee you I make six songs changes. I guarantee, not only do I guarantee I make the best six songs ever made, I get make, I make the songs that you never have to see me again, and you're like, oh shit, I know what to do here. Save mm. this time. Stuff. Let's go. I'm <laughs> going on, nigga. I already set. told you. Come on, nigga. Listen, <laughs> at, anybody who know me, niggas I pull up to my nigga, office in Atlanta. Effort. My office in Atlanta, niggas pull up. Nigga, they know. Studio, what you need? That what you need? Cause my thing is, is if I you got know, that magic air, nigga, I'm going. But it's it's it's, it's not. <laughs> I'm it's, a sponge. I like learning. I, this I got shit. the I'm science air. I, magic is you. You the magic. Y'all the magic. Nigga, y'all niggas. How y'all rap like that? Like how the fuck do you do that? Mm. I wish I could do that, but y'all can. Let me show you the science mm. that makes the magic bulletproof, and then it's yours. It's really simple. It's not hard to make records, but you gotta remove the ego. Gotta try different shit. Right. Fact. I might ask you a question like what you like. You might say something to me, nigga, be like, yo, boo, boo, boo. And I'm like, ooh, that's the record. Right mm -hmm. there. You don't even know it's the record. I might go read one of your captions and be like, why you wrote that as a caption, nigga, but as a rap, you wrote something what we talking and, about. And here's okay. the funny thing. That's when I'm crazy. in the studio and I get stuck, I ask people, Y'all read any memes today that Oh yeah, that there's balls and memes. Yeah, yeah. Any any yep. like give me give me something that yep. caught your attention to. Yep. What did what did you share? You. What did you send yeah. to your partner? What did you right. send to your homegirl today? Like what did you send to your nigga yeah. today? That's how the, it's, the, the internet has made us all a community. We never met, but we walked up, we knew each other. That's a fact. That's the internet has made us all a community. The problem is that some of us are resisting it, some of us are hating on it, some of us are blocking it. When nigga, let me tell you something. The nigga that's going with the flow for the future always get richer than the nigga that's fighting. 
That's a fact. So nigga, wherever the future taking us, I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna be a man and stand on and say, yo, that's cool, but we can't do that. Right. I'm cool with what you're doing, but we ain't gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. Or, yo, why don't you try this? Can you mm -hmm. try this? I don't agree with everything Chopper said, but the thing I liked about him, I still love about him, is that he understands moments. See, most artists want to make it about music. It's mm -hmm. not about music. It's about the influencer. Every whether we, it's a cool, it's a lame word, by the way. You might, you might get slapped. You call a nigga influencer, right? Like, <laughs> influencer, nigga, bitch, I'll beat your motherfucker, <laughs> nigga. But the reality is that we all are influencers. We all. Whether it's from the shoes you're wearing to everything, we all are influencers that show the world. But the problem is you cannot market your music. You gotta market you. Nigga, we didn't care if Drake, if Drake and Kendrick dropped those songs and they weren't dissing each other, do I leave restaurant at the middle at 11 o'clock at night to go nah. hear it? Cause I gotta hear it? No, nigga, I hear it when I can. But let me tell you what happens when, when it comes out. You know I need to hear it? Cause everybody gonna be talking about it online. Everybody gonna be hit, tweeting the shit. Niggas is on Instagram tomorrow. Oh, he said this. I need to know that. Right. I don't wanna. I don't want niggas talking about my head. I don't know. I gotta know that. That's why we wanted to know. So now, think about that. We didn't even care if it was good or not. We just wanted to know. Right. So now you trying to make something good. Fuck making it good. Take your story. Let's add some scientific records around it. Let's put you in a space. So you might want to be a nigga that rap twenty four bars. Okay, cool. My compromise is let's make the eight bar hook in the beginning. And then let's write, let you rap. Matter of fact, get 36 in the middle. But do me a favor. In the, when you get to that 12, say something melodic, cool. So when we get to the, the 24th they bar, you want to finish over. it. Say that same thing again. Carry it over. We at the hook. Four minutes in, we got a song and people forgot. People don't even realize that they programmed on it. Right. It's, it's, music, is, music is all science. If you play, and I learned this my, my three-year-old daughter. That's why if you got kids, don't separate your kids from music. And with my daughter... You know, I like to hype my daughter up. Like, listen, we I'm hyping my kids up. You that mother, you what's up? Like, so I'm so I'm playing my records. I play, I play Boosie. Wipe me down. Uh, so I'm like, you know, I don't care what they saying. And I'm playing it for her. And I'm like, I pull up in the club, V I P on me, on me, wipe me down. Wipe me down. And every time they said wipe me down, my daughter caught it. Right. So she was like, wipe me down. And I'm like, if Science. these rap niggas start fucking around and learn this shit, right. we will own the culture, but we so busy saying the world is against us, or this nigga's hating on us, or this nigga's my ops. Man, fuck all of that. They only your op because they don't know that you are better as a fucking friend. Mm. They only your op because they don't know you have value. Like, we taught to hate each other. We taught to not believe each other. That's a a white man can walk in here and say the same thing I'm saying, and the room will be the ball because a white man said it rather than a black man. So how do I change that? I got to show up for my niggas. I gotta help my niggas. Mm. And my nigga, nigga, me and you did the show. I'm like, his idea, hey nigga, I don't want nothing from that. Do it. If you need me to show up, I'm there because right, how do we show these kids that there's power in he unity is, if we ain't jokes. unified? How are we gonna do that? If we ain't unified. We're gonna tell my son, man, you gotta move like this as a man. He ain't listening to what I'm saying. He's watching watch what I'm doing. doing. That's a fact. And that's what makes it work. So we gotta, <laughs> so I'll tell everybody around me, nigga, I live my life like a camera's on me 24-7. I'm, I don't, and it's just on purpose. It's, by the way, it's not even because I'm trying to be fake. It's because I need to act like the world is watching because we all praying to the same God who's watching. Mm, that's a fact. Nigga, you show me who you are already. Nigga, you ain't even got to fucking the end of the marathon. You halfway through and you already a dick. You're already a piece of shit. You're already talking to your mother like that. You're already looking down on the people around you. You ain't even got right. there, you that. Oh, uh, nigga, you get, that's it for you, nigga. I'm stopping. Mm -hmm. Or go with the devil and be an evil nigga and make more money. But you know where you're going when it's over. So it's on you. That's a fact. Listen, you're, you're living your movement. Period. If when you die, you have to watch this whole thing over. Right. Don't be mad that you don't have the remote to fast forward the moments that you weren't productive, the moments that you let people defeat you. Mm. Make your movie. We're going to take a five minute break. They said money changed niggas. If you're a real nigga, ain't going to change much about you. But it will bring some snakes around you. Pray for counsel when you find out what that kick amount to. Uh -huh, let's go. Lord, I'm so thankful for your blessing. Yeah. I ain't stressing, cause I'm focused on the cash route. Say he's still working overtime, but I pay him no mind, and that's probably what he mad about. I be hopping on planes, touching clouds while these haters and these thirsty ass bitches trying to grab clout. Praying to you, please keep the police off me if I ever gotta take one of their ass out.